Hi everybody, this is Sigari Kidoa. Today, I'm going to show you how to use your freighter to take somebody's scam contract and basically rip them off by actually delivering the contract. I strongly suggest you do not try this unless you know exactly what you're doing. These scam contracts are generally set up so that you don't complete the contract. Now, what I have here is my obelisk and a contract inside, which is 405,003. 405,003 can't be moved into Jump Freighter. So already, you're restricted to moving through just a freighter. You, you can't put it in a, in a hauler, you can't put it in anything else. So, what we've got is this container, which is full of cargo containers, basically. And this is 200 mil collateral for 100 mil reward. Now, what happens is if this contract does not get delivered, the person who issued the contract, in this case Miranda Board, will get 200 mil of my collateral and I will get no reward because I failed the contract. Uh, but that's not going to happen because I've got a little bit of, you know, sneakiness up my sleeve to make it work. First thing you want to do when you're delivering a scam contract is add the person to your address book. So as you can see right now, this person is offline. You wait until the person is offline for about an hour and then you can accept the contract. Uh, if you pick it up while they're on, they might alert their friends, they might tell people, hey, there's a freighter that's about to come and deliver this contract, you should sit on the gate and blow it up. So you wanna have plenty of time for that to not happen. Uh, so yeah, a good buffer of time. This person's been offline for a couple hours, I was watching it. Uh, I just delivered a couple of other contracts, if you wanna take a look here at my recently completed contracts, it's pretty funny. So I've got this contract here, which is Pew Pew Ships to be Moved. He wanted to move a Tormentor and a whole bunch of cargo containers <laughs> uh, for 100 mil. And then he had another one that was exactly the same. So I made 200 mil in one trip because I got both those in my freighter at the same time, which was pretty awesome. So we've got another two, two jumps to go. Uh, I just want to remind everybody this is incredibly dangerous. Don't do this unless you know what you're doing. Uh, the method that we are going to be using right now is actually we're going to use a web alt on a gate to help web me into warp. Uh, and that's not necessary, but it's definitely helpful for especially sorty low sec systems. On in right now is probably one of the hottest systems in EVE. Uh, it's just incredibly always busy. There's always people blowing up. There's always people trying to get kills. Uh, there's a pirate corporation that lives there. So average pilots in space, one pilot. So, I mean, it's been dead in the last 30 minutes. But if we switch over... And I show ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. Big dot there. 19 ships destroyed in the last 24 hours. Ships destroyed in the last hour. None. It's, it's quiet right now. There's nobody in that system. So it's fairly, fairly safe to uh, give it a go. Now, on my other screen, which you can't see, I have one of my alts that is sitting there, basically just on the gate watching to see if anybody's there. And I'm running the scanner occasionally to see if anybody's on scan. Uh, there is a hurricane on scan right now, but I'm not really too worried about that hurricane because he's sitting at a POS and I think he's AFK. He also has uh, global. Um, I checked all the people in local, and all those people in local are not in the same corporation, so the chances of me getting through with this package are pretty good. It would take the guy screaming in local, freighter on a gate, come quick, and then people would have to believe him. <laughs> so, you know, they'd warp to the gate and hopefully they wouldn't get blown up themselves. So it's kind of like this back and forth relationship with pirates and low sec. It's, uh, it could either be 100% awesome deal, let's go blow up a freighter, or it could be, oh my gosh, we're gonna work this gate and lose the ship. Uh, you, you never really know. Uh, being a pirate that lived in low sec for a long time, I can actually tell you a funny story. There was a freighter that came through one day, uh, my system in Barlagoot, which is down in Northern Placid uh, near Syndicate. This freighter just came through the system, and I was like, I don't believe it. So I beat the drum in corp chat. I was like, guys, there's a freighter on the gate. Let's go. So I was in a Vexler. I, I didn't even have, like, a proper ship. I aggroed the guy on the gate. I'm like, all right, I'm pointing this guy. I'm going to give him aggression. So I gave him aggression, and we lit him up. And it was just me and, I think, a frigate. <laughs> the frigate had to warp off. But anyway, the guy logged as soon as I aggressed. So... We couldn't catch him because he disappeared in 60 seconds while I had him tackled on the gate. So what did I do? I waited. 
about 20 minutes later, he logged back in. We had probes out. We scanned him down. We worked right to him. We pointed him again. I yelled, ransom in local. I'm like, pay up. And we had ship scanners fitted, so we scanned to see what he had in his cargo. He had nothing. So the ship wasn't really even worth, like, you know, really going for, like, a big ransom. I just wanted a ransom in for the hull. Because blowing up a freighter is going to give you nothing. I mean, sure, it's going to be a great kill me all on a kill board, but there's no chance for me to make any money off of that whatsoever. So I ransomed him. I was like, hey, man, pay up, or you're not going to you know, leave with this ship. He logged. I'm like, fine. So I'm sitting there just with point on him, and I'm talking to my corpmates. What should we do? Should we blow him up? He logged twice, kind of sort of thing. So we decided to go for it. So we started shooting him, and before, before we could blow him up, he disappeared again. So I sat there for 12 hours waiting for him to log back in, and he didn't, and I finally just fell asleep at the keyboard, and then when I logged back in, he was gone. So that's that. <laughs> that's the story. Okay, here's my friend who is actually going to help me out. So he's going to jump in, and he's going to get to zero on the gate. This is the hostile gate. Everybody, please cross your fingers, because even though the gate's clear on the other side, there could always be a cloaky rapier or somebody that could just ruin my day. So hopefully that's not going to happen. Okay, my friend is zeroing down on the gate. I'm watching him right now. He's 10 clicks away. Okay, now is the time for me to jump in. He is almost on gate. No, not yet. He's still... He's pretty slow, actually. He's really slow. Okay, an Orca just landed on the gate. If that Orca jumps, I will be okay. If that Orca does not jump, I need to leave. Okay, the Orca jumped. So I'm going to cross-jump the Orca. And really quick, I'm going to pull up the contract that I have running. And I'm going to just dock at that station. Okay, in low sec. Decloaked, here's a hurricane. This is probably going to be really, really bad. Okay, Hurricane has me yellow box. Okay, so now what we have to do is basically just get aligned and hope that that hurricane explodes. Okay, he's at 50% armor. My chances of getting away are 50-50. Trust me, folks, my heart's pounding right now. We will see what happens.
Okay, so in any other situation, I would have lost my ship right there. So, once again, unless you know what you're doing, that HP could be all gone and you would have lost your ship. Anyway, so <laughs> let's review what to do when you jump a freighter in a low sec. First, don't panic. Second, keep your ship aligned to where it needs to be, which was in this case that station. If you don't stay aligned, what's going to happen? You're going to have that whole situation happen all over again, and you're going to lose your ship. So the first thing that you can do in a situation of PvP is not panic. The second that you panic, you're already losing your ship. By keeping a cool, focused head, knowing what you have to do, you can dock, move the contract, and deliver it. And that, my friends, is how you do it. So we take a look at my wallet there, and there is an easy 100 mil reward. Everybody, this has been Sigari Kidoa. Thank you for watching my tutorial on how to safely jump a <laughs> freighter in the low sec. Have a great day.